What is going on guys, predator 45 Vetcher, and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Armored Warfare where today we're going to be taking a look at some of the uh, Merc edition premium tanks that came out a while ago. Uh, now these videos are from still from the Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I'm going away for Christmas with my family uh, so I'm just trying to upload as many things as possible. <laughs> Uh, so I'm having haven't really had much time to play. Just been doing commentary and rendering and all of that. So I'm going through what uh, videos I have on my computer, and uh, this is one of them, along with the next match, which is in the VFM Mark V Mercenary Edition. Um, now MBT70, I owned the normal version. I liked it, so I just decided to just go ahead and buy the whole Merc pack. Can never have too many premiums, right? Got to earn that money. Uh, the Merc, uh, the VFM Mark V Merc, I didn't own the normal version. It was something that I wanted to, so um, I was glad that I got that uh, in the bundle. So anyways, Port Storm, we have come into the container train yard shipping area. Now you can see a large number of enemy uh, vehicles have gone up onto the mountain, the little hill. Um, so gotta hope our team manages to hold them off because there's not a whole lot there's a bmp2 stingray another afv of some form there and just being a little bit cautious here i don't want to charge out too quickly and get spotted incoming missile and thankfully it hits the train car in front of us uh, we do have armor piercing loaded uh, for a bmp like this heat would be great he's trying to peekaboo we take a shot to 5 and 56 uh, damage and what was nice about these Merc vehicles is, you know, they came with a level 5 crew. Uh, Armored Warfare, when I'm recording this now, uh, the other day introduced the Ice pack. Um, I didn't buy all of those. Uh, the only one I bought there was the Leopard, the Tier 6 Leopard 2 AV. Um, so I'll bring a video on that at some point. I think that's probably going to become my new favorite uh, premium, simply because the MBT-70, although it's nice, Things like the reload rate and that kind of... Not really my thing. I prefer to have a gun that fires, you know, every seven or eight seconds. Um, and get a little bit stuck here on the <laughs> on the concrete. Um, but we're going to move forward and we're going to see if we can get another shot at this BMP. There we go. 449 damage and we get the kill. First kill for our team. First kill of the match. And now we are spotted, which is to be expected. Um, but I gamble that he was alone on that side and it looks like the gamble pays off because I don't take any hits from the side and here we got a uh, was that Bradley XM1 we take a shot 524 into the engine and uh, do some damage to it unfortunately didn't send him on fire didn't uh, do anything like that or knock his engine out he's able to get behind cover before we can uh, reload and get the gun back on target Take a shot at the Chieftain's uh, Commander's Hatch, 191 damage. Uh, decided to go for the shot basically because I knew he wasn't going to really come out further than that. Uh, he wasn't going to give us a nice shot either at his turret ring or at his juicy lower hull. Um, so that's all we were going to get. Some damage is better than no damage. Push out a little bit here, being a little bit more aggressive. And unfortunately these guys seize upon this moment to attack me and unfortunately <laughs> thankfully we get away with uh, out taking a hit but uh, I guess maybe I wasn't completely fully aimed in yet when I took that shot either that or RNG just derped me and it's uh, the shell plowed into the ground but 14-9 we've only lost a glide pants of 57 um, so things are looking good for this match just moving up got a T-72A in front of us and What's that? Uh, B1 Centauro. We take the shot, uh, snapshot, because he was going to be obscured very soon, and unfortunately, our shell goes nowhere near where we were aiming. Um, we can't hit all the snapshots all the time. So, just moving forward now, we've lost another, we've lost a VBL, but we're losing all the light stuff. The heavy hitters, uh, the heavily armored stuff is, is staying alive, which is always good. Uh, here we have a, another. Centauro, uh, he does 530 damage, we return the favor with 488, and now this guy's coming around. He tracks us, but thankfully we don't take any damage. He should have perhaps run behind uh, cover, but he didn't, so 510, and we get our second kill. 
Now there's the artillery being engaged by BMD2, I think, BMP2. Yeah, BMP. Uh, he's gotten the kill. So it's uh, only four tanks remaining. And I think he was actually killed. I don't see him on the minimap anymore. Uh, just trying to come up and get a shot at the Centauro. Third kill, 270 damage. And all that's left, VBL Stingray XM1. And they're all in front of us. Uh, we're just trying to get our gun on target for the Stingray. Fortunately, he drops down. This other Stingray got in the way and we had to move forward and then re-aim the whole bloody thing. Um, he's down, so VBL. Final target. We should have probably switched over to Heat at this point. Um, and there we go, he's down. Uh, so that is the end of the match, and moving swiftly along to the results. As you can see, as I said, Thanksgiving weekend. So, triple experience on every game we played. Hence, 14,500 reputation, 414,000 credits, just shy of 3,000 damage. Uh, 2,300 spotting damage, 7 spots, and we got the gold star, because I'm a very good boy. Um, first place on the team... Uh, not top by damage, uh, looks like second by damage. Uh, it's a white rabbit in the T-72A, he got about 500 damage more than us. Top damage on the enemy team was their artillery with 1300. But anyways, on to our next match, which is in the VFM Mark V Merc, and this is going to be a PvE match. Um, so let's go and see how that little light tank does against some AI. All right, welcome to the PvE battle. Now, unfortunately, uh, the way I record a lot of my Armored Warfare stuff is um, I just use Shadow Play um, and the Shadow Play feature, you know, where you set a time and it records the last X amount of uh, minutes. Simply because when I record it live, um, not necessarily doing live com, but when I'm actually recording while I play, I tend to f the matches end so quickly or I die so quickly that I actually tend to forget that I'm recording. Uh, so I've landed up just setting the shadow play timer to 10 minutes, which is normally enough. <laughs> we nearly flipped the tank there, which is normally enough. Uh, but this one, a uh, little bit into the battle. Um, as you can see, we've done 956 damage already. We haven't taken any fire. Uh, the first capture point or first defend point is looking for somewhere we can pin this Leopard 2A5. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot find any green indicators. He does take a hit. Um, all we can really find is into the tracks, and we don't want to do that. I think I'm going to just try my luck anyway soon, or no, I'm going to hold the shot. Um, now we go into the track and we immobilize him, so we'll get some points for this. Uh, there's something we can deal with, a big light panzer. Uh, but I mean, still 10 seconds on the first uh, defend point, so we really haven't missed a whole lot. Just went around getting some of the SATCOM trucks and a few, you know, hits. Um, but anyways, 0.12 has come out for Armored Warfare, which pr promises a lot of changes uh, to the PvE. Um, less predictable bots, and take a shot at this pack 90, he misses thankfully, um, bit of lag there. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to try it out yet, misses again, 324, we finish him off. But we take a hit from someone down there, sounds like an auto cannon hit. Um, but I've heard that it is a lot more difficult now. Take a shot at the Glide Panzer. He hits and bounces, I think. And that's one of the really great things about these VFMs is that even though they are a light tank and they they don't necessarily have light tank armor. I mean, like the RDF, uh, which is also a really fun tank. Um, that thing just that doesn't bounce anything ever. If someone throws, you know. I don't know, what's something soft? A marshmallow, there we go. Someone throws a marshmallow at you, you're going to take damage. Uh, whereas the VFM, you at least do have a fairly decent frontal armor. Um, you can even, in some circumstances, bounce. Uh, we don't bounce that shot, unfortunately. But you can even, in some rare circumstances, maybe even not that rare if you uh, are fully aware of the guy and have angled perfectly, but you can bounce MBT shells from the front. I've bounced off VFMs in in my MBT-70 and my T-72, you know, even the really high pen stuff. And don't know what that shell did, but it doesn't doesn't penetrate. Um, we're going to take a stab at... I think we're going to finish this expeditionary tank before we move on. Um, he's not looking this way, so we'll just 
finish him off with our sixth kill. Uh, uh, top on next top is four, so we got two more kills than anyone else. And here is a AMX 10P Pack 90. Another shot, 371 damage, and he's dead. Just trying to see who we can go for. We'll probably go for this artillery. Finish him off, 348 damage. Take a hit from the BMP3, an HE hit in the back. Uh, fire off a shot. We were firing AP there, which is probably a good thing because we did hit his ERA side armor, and if we were firing heat, we would have got nothing. Um, very often, I actually just tend to stick with armor piercing. Um, Simply because if something comes out that I can't deal with, uh, with heat, and I've got that loaded, and then you got to like wait, you know that could be bad. So I'd rather, for the most part, I'm going to take a shot at his low plate here, and we do actually manage to go through 370 damage. Um, rather safe than sorry is kind of the way I played a lot of the time. Stingray, another shot in 330, and the AI just keep rolling in, and we just keep smacking them and uh, doing lots of damage. Uh, but one of the things that the VFM doesn't do so well, which is why I'm actually a little bit surprised we did pen the MBT-70, is um, the accuracy on its gun is not the best. Can we take another shot? I don't think we pen that one. Um, off the top of my head, I don't quite remember the accuracy spread, but I think it's uh, 0.15 or somewhere around there. So it's really not very good. Um, it was buffed because it used to be even higher, like 0.18 or something, um, and even fully aimed in, you could very often completely miss a target at range. Um, so they did buff it a little bit, brought it down, uh, but it's still not pinpoint accurate. Uh, so I, when we fired that shot at the MBT-70, I half expected the shell to do its own thing and uh, like hit the upper plate or the turret or something, or perhaps the bush behind him, who knows. Uh, but anyways, we are, unfortunately we, we did, this was our fault, we did kind of get uh, bogged down defending uh, the second capture point that we never left enough time to start moving towards the SATCOM capture, or, or the, the, the final SATCOM truck. So, four out of five, unfortunately we do not get that uh, secondary bonus. Um, totally my fault, um, should have kept a closer eye on the time. Um, and as a light tank, it is my responsibility. Uh, fortunately, we kind of fired when we were roughly at the center of the tank, but a um, little bit of lag on my side probably, plus the inherent shot delay in Armored Warfare means we uh, landed up missing a very easy shot. Um, stealing with the Sheridan, two shots, he's down. That is 10 kills for us now. The ERC-90 has managed eight, so we're fighting it out with him for uh, Top Dog, waiting for this guy, hoping he was going to come around, but ERC-90 finishes. No, he didn't finish him off, someone else finished him off. Uh, and we've lost two allied tanks, unfortunately. Leopard 1A5 and uh, Artillery, who was... Is that Artillery? I can't quite see. Um, yeah, M109. Uh, not sure how much he did, he only got one kill. Um, threw a track here. Decided to just wait it out. Um, I think we get away with the two. Just got to put a shot into the Begite Panzer, but we miss. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just derping our shot there. So we're moving back towards uh, the... We don't miss that one. Massive 34 damage. Moving towards the de uh, defender point. Uh, but someone else manages to take out the pesky bugger that was capturing the point. Uh, we go around the corner and decide to change our minds because there's several in front of us so we're going to peek out and just try and uh, deal with them one at a time. Uh, we have loaded heat now because we can see that there are several uh, APCs and, and that in front of us which we can deal with all of them and I don't really think we're going to get surprised by an MBT anytime soon. Uh, we are starting to run low on ammo. Shot into him, 290 da damage done. We've only got two heat rounds left and six AP rounds, so we are, we might have to uh, use our field maintenance kit. It's waiting for this guy to come around the corner, into the lower plate, 488 damage, uh, backing up into the building before he can get a hit in, but unfortunately because we hit the building, uh, we screwed that up completely. 
We're down to 510 health. Popping smoke so we can get back into cover. We are spotted. Not sure who by. Maybe there's something behind us. He has a leopard. Shot into his engine 391. We have now used our field maintenance kit. So back up to 875 hit points. And we have a full complement of ammo. Unfortunately, he fires like as we peek the corner. So that's always annoying when the AI does that. Um, they always do it so perfectly. Uh, but thankfully they don't do it all the time, but it's still frustrating when they do. Uh, 467, we're thankfully not taking too much damage. He's firing HE frag. Uh, someone else gets the kill and finishes him off. So, Terminator. Dangerous little tank. I'm going to go into his uh, gun assembly, if you will. Um, I can't wait for these things to be on sale again. Um, 136 damage to finish him off. That's something I'd definitely like to pick up uh, when it's on offer again, because obviously, uh, take a hit from him. Uh, but obviously it was a uh, premium tank for the the people who bought like the largest founders packs. Um, I just bought the basic one that gave me access to the game. Um, wasn't going to spend a lot of money on like the, the heavy expensive founders packs if I didn't know I was going to enjoy the game uh, finish that guy off and I do believe that is the end of this round so off to the results and let's see how our little VFM Mark V mercenary did and as you can see just shy of 12,000 reputation a hundred and thirteen thousand uh, credits 12,294 damage 16 kills 23 spots uh, we got the blue star for highest uh, Reputation on the winning team. Second one, um, I think that's target, potentially. No, that's the gold one. I don't know what the second one is. Possibly for getting the most kills. Third one is uh, Master Gunner. Fourth one, I think, is target for taking the most hits and surviving. So, as you can see, the the, the armor on the VFM is uh, no joke. I mean, it's not MBT level, but it's pretty damn good. But anyways, on to the team results. Uh, we managed to get more kills than the, the ERC-90. About 4,000 damage more than second place, who was the Chieftain Mark V, and 360-odd uh, reputation above uh, second place. So, quite a good match for this little bugger. I uh, rather enjoyed it. I haven't played the, this all too much um, recently, but uh, hopefully I'll get back into it next year, because I don't know how much I'm going to be playing when I am away. Uh, but anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button down below and consider subscribing for more World of Warships as well as Armored Warfare and a few other things I'll throw into the mix from time to time. Uh, but yeah, that's it from me. Be sure to have a fantastic holiday season. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for stopping by. This is Predator458 signing off. And I will see you guys next time.